about the newest events occurring at Pacifica Station. We hear the word centralization. How can centralization be a problem? We ask this question because we live in a centralized state in many ways, where the federal government from Washington, D.C., is the chief administrative agency that runs this huge entity that we call the federal government. And that's a good thing, right? (laughs) Well, radio isn't a government. Radio is an intimate, personal way of communication that communicates to people that it cannot see, by people that cannot be seen, but they can be heard. It is voice to mind. And centralization is essentially one thing and one thing only, control. Centralization is how the system reproduces itself by quieting the voices of those people it deems deviants, those people it deems dissidents, those people it deems other than humans, other than people. And when we look at the government, right, we can see that it has performed that function in this history of the United States. I was just looking through Howard Zinn and looking over the 1930s and the 1932 election between Herbert Hoover and Franklin D. Roosevelt. And Hoover called Roosevelt a socialist who was a threat to the American system. And uh, anyone who knows anything, anything remotely about socialism knows that that's not true. But the very idea of social security was seen as anathema by those who wanted to control through capital, all things, all human endeavors. So centralization is not a good thing. And when we think about, again, social security, we have to remember that farm workers at that time, that was the majority of black laborers in the South and Mexican workers, they're not covered by social security. Domestic workers weren't covered by social security. So centralization certainly has its problems, does it not? This is a call from Pennsylvania State Correctional Institution, Mahanoy. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. We view this. Centralization is about control. And decentralization is about liberation, freedom, and liberating voices, personalities, identities, that have been under the thumb of repression. So I know what side I'm on. I hope you're on that side. From Imprisoned Nation, this is Mumia Abu Jamal.